You guys, this week's Sunday case study is going to be epic. So let me give you a little video clip of one of my favorite movies as a little teaser. Inside the lump, he found teeth and a spinal column. Yes, inside the lump was my twin. So first question is, what movie is that? Okay, so now on to the case. We have a 52-year-old male who presents to my clinic with intermittent back pain. So he has really bad episodes of back pain that kind of get better. And about two years ago, he was diagnosed with urinary incontinence. He had this workup and was told that he had bladder incontinence and that he just needed to self-cath. Now, over the past two years, his walking has gotten worse, his back pain has gotten worse, and he notices that his right leg has become really weak. So first x-rays were done, and then an MRI was done that showed this. Here is a contrasted MRI scan. So what in the world is that? And what is our treatment? Stay tuned tomorrow and I'll explain everything. So yesterday I presented a case of a 52 year old male who presented to my clinic with episodes of back pain and progressive leg weakness, as well as urinary incontinence in which he was told to just self catheter. It wasn't until he saw a different doctor that recommended that he get an MRI of his back. Here is the MRI of his back, and he has all this weird stuff within his spinal canal. What is that? Should we do a biopsy? So I go to the doctor, and he did the biopsy. So I dropped a little hint in the first video from a scene from one of my favorite movies, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Many of you got the answer right, and this was a teratoma, which is a type of germ cell tumor. It can be cancerous or non-cancerous, and it can have fully formed teeth, hair, and other parts of the body within the tumor itself. They're most commonly found in the ovaries or testes, but it can really happen anywhere in the body. And in this patient's case, it was inside of his spine. The treatment is surgical resection. And in this patient's case, I scanned his whole neural axis. So I scanned his brain and all of his spine, and this was the only lesion within his spinal canal. So we performed what's called a laminectomy where we open the back part of the spine and then we open the dura or the covering of the nerves and remove this tumor. Now this surgery took me eight to nine hours and inside of his spine wrapped around all of his nerves was skin, teeth, and hair. It was so crazy, but we got a gross total resection of the tumor and the patient after recovery did very well. He regained the strength in his leg, unfortunately, because his bladder incontinence had went on undiagnosed for years. That did not get better. His particular tumor turned out to be completely benign, so now we're just watching it to make sure it doesn't regrow. Stay tuned next Sunday so I can go through a different neurosurgery case with you.